Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. For all positive integers a and b, we have that a plus b is a positive integer. Now in this series, we are using a list of 10 axioms for the real number system. And I'll leave that list of axioms in the description below. Now, we have defined the positive integers as a subset of our real number system. And the way we defined it was we first defined a special type of subset of real numbers called an inductive set. And let's remind ourselves of that definition. Let i be a subset of the real numbers. We say i is an inductive set if 1 is an element of i, and for all real numbers n, if n is an element of i, then n plus 1 is an element of i. For example, the set of real numbers itself is an inductive set. And so we defined the positive integers as the set of real numbers which belong to every inductive set. From there, we showed that the positive integers itself is an inductive set. So that means the positive integers is a subset of the real numbers, 1 is a positive integer, and for all real numbers n. If n is a positive integer, then n plus 1 is a positive integer. And we also showed that the principle of mathematical induction holds for the positive integers. So to prove this theorem, we are going to be using mathematical induction. So to start off the proof, let's first give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer a. And from here, we proceed by induction on b. To show, for all positive integers b, a plus b is a positive integer. So let's start with the base case. In the base case, we're trying to show that this is true in the case where b is equal to 1. So really, we're trying to show that a plus 1 is a positive integer. Now, since the positive integers is an inductive set, let's use the fact that this statement is true. This statement works for every real number. So in particular, it must work for the real number a. So taking n to be a, we have if a is a positive integer, then a plus 1 is a positive integer. Well, we know that a is a positive integer. That's what we have here. So we can conclude that a plus 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So this completes the base case. Now let's move on to the induction step. In the induction step, we give ourselves an arbitrary positive integer b. And we assume that this statement is true for that arbitrary positive integer b. And the whole goal of the induction step is to show that this statement is also true for b plus 1. So really, we're trying to show that a plus b plus 1 is a positive integer. Now, since the positive integers is an inductive set, let's use the fact that this statement is true again. Now, in this case, we're going to take n to be a plus b. Well, in that case, if a plus b is a positive integer, then a plus b plus 1 is a positive integer. Well, we know that a plus b is a positive integer. That's what we have here. So we can conclude that a plus b plus 1 is a positive integer. But then, from the axioms of our real number system, if we apply axiom 2, the associative law, we can move these parentheses around b plus 1. So, since these guys are equal, we can replace this guy with this guy. So we have a plus b plus 1 is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to show. So, this completes the induction step. Because we've completed both the base case and the induction step, this closes the induction. So, by mathematical induction, we have shown for all positive integers b, a plus b is a positive integer. And 
we have shown that this statement is true for an arbitrary positive integer a. Therefore, we have shown for all positive integers a and for all positive integers b, a plus b is a positive integer. And that is exactly what we wanted to prove. So this completes the proof. Now, another way of putting this is to say that the set of positive integers is closed under addition. Right, so that's another way of referring to this theorem. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.